saving cost. This is one of the most important factors on the minds of executives in the digital transformation era. And when implementing new technology and use cases, economics are the major driving factor. And organizations, they want to, to understand how transitioning to the cloud is going to help them significantly reducing cost. I'm Ronald van Loon, and I'm the CEO and the principal analyst of the intelligent world and also a Citrix partner. And I'm here today to expose another common myth that the ROI on the cloud isn't there yet. So businesses, they are under in the impression that cloud and cloud-based migration costs outweigh the benefits. So traditional IT infrastructures, they have been built over time, adding new type of functions and capabilities to fit organizations' varying needs. And these current capabilities, they, they might be working, so organizations don't want to risk spending a lot of money migrating their infrastructure to the cloud. Now, on-premises environments, they might be okay for now, but this isn't a sustainable solution for the long term. So organizations, they can't effectively and quickly scale using traditional on-premises infrastructures. So IT leaders sometimes don't consider the benefits of virtual apps and desktop as a service when it comes to flexibility, resilience, but also simplicity, which have a direct impact on the hard and the soft cost. And desktop as a service solutions, they don't require capital expenses and they can be set up really fast with cloud provider management. So with cloud desktop as a service solutions, you can add any workloads to the cloud at any time. And this fits perfectly in the business models of modern organizations who are amidst the digital transformation initiatives and are continuously adding and scaling new technological solutions over time. As you scale and you can pay for the, the solutions that you want and that you use most, businesses, they don't have to manage any procurement costs associated with, with hardware, with data center space, with endpoints and, and other type of IT equipment. So traditional virtual desktop interface, they might be working for organizations temporarily and they can cost less than cloud solutions in, in some circumstances. But organizations, they need to weigh the total cost of their virtual desktop infrastructure and take into consideration that they won't meet the scaling demands of the future workloads as organizations adopt to new technology and acquiring new customers over time. So IT teams, they're going to need the management support of your desktop as a service to meet business challenges such as resilience or continuity, but also a hybrid remote workforce. So if business IT leaders are comfortable with their existing virtual desktop infrastructure and they are uncertain of the ROI of the cloud solution, consider how much money an organization saves having the IT support from desktop as a service cloud capabilities, how many more customers and how many cases they can scale with it. And how can cloud solutions provide a foundation for business resilience and for their business continuity as businesses integrate new technologies to meet their needs for a digital future. So let's clear up the myth that the ROI is not there yet for the cloud solution. It's clear that even though organizations might save some money on leaving their traditional on-premises infrastructures the way they are, they won't have the sustainable option that helps them to meet the demands for implementing new type of technologies and analytic solutions that will set them down to the path for success moving into this uncertain future. Nor will they be able to scale their infrastructure at the pace that helps them to satisfy the demands for the modern customer and their employees who need the tools and who need the support to focus on core functions of their work in a hybrid remote work world. I'm Ronald van Loon, and this is The Intelligent World.